And this time next year, she'll have her own YouTube. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I am so excited at the start of this video, if you couldn't tell, because I am just on my way out to go and see Taylor Swift Eva's tour at the cinema. So as all of you probably know by now, I am a huge Taylor Swift fan, have been since I was like 13, played the guitar because of Taylor Swift and I've just loved her, love her music. My friend is actually here to pick me up now, so I need to go. But yeah, we're going to her tour next June in Liverpool, but we're going to the cinema today to see the Eras tour, and I'm so excited, and I best go and open the door. Hey guys, so I'm back from the cinema, back from the Eras tour movie. It was amazing. And I know I'm biased because I'm a huge Taylor Swift fan, but it was just amazing everyone was singing in the cinema like i've seen on tiktok like people have been like jumping at the front it wasn't like that at our cinema although i would have happily been jumping at the front if the vibe was there but everyone was just singing and all the songs all our favorite songs are playing and it was just so good and i'm so excited to go to the actual eras tour next june and my friend was just telling me in the car that when well just reminding me that when i'm at that tour i'll be a missus i'll be married so I'm just home now and we're just about to go to Jake's mum and dad's for a roast and I thought I'd just share a little package that arrived a few weeks ago from Wild. The Wild have very kindly sent me a little deodorant which I'm a little bit obsessed with because as you can see it has my name on and I am just a sucker for personalised things. I would have everything personalised in the house if I could like personalised bin bags or personalized like cloths I would literally have it all I love personalized things so like this is your little like deodorant canister and then you get refills which look like this of different scents and whatever scent you like the scent I've got in here by the way is amazing I'll talk about it in a second and then they come like this and I think the packaging is like bamboo pulp or something like that so it's like easily recycle recyclable why is that such a hard word to say recyclable <laughs> basically really good for the environment and what's really good about the wild deodorants is there's no harsh chemicals it's all very natural so it's good for you and this scent is pumpkin spiced scented deodorant isn't it i mean you can't smell it but <laughs> it is literally amazing and when i pop this on in the morning i literally smell delicious <laughs> like it smells so sweet i honestly love it it's so good for this season and they do loads of other like fragrances as well like this one is fresh cotton and sea salt i've not opened it yet it's got lipstick on it mm. oh it, it literally does smell like cotton and sea salt really really nice My, more of a fresh one that one but this one is more of like a sweet one which i love like i love sweet scents anyway you know me so i have been loving using this in the morning and yeah i just think the concept is so good like you can get your own colored case obviously i love pink you can get your name on it i love that like my skin and me that i use has my name on it as well which i love i just love things that have my name on so yeah absolutely love that about it you can pick your own scents you can get one cent one month and one cent even month. They offer a subscription service as well for you if you like that sort of thing. So I thought I would share it with you. And I also have a discount code for you to use with Wild Cosmetics as well. It's florally20, so that can save you 20% off. I'll pop it on the screen and I'll pop the link down below in the description box. And you can have a little look on the website because they do all sorts of like shower gels and things as well. So have a little nosy and see what you find. Also guys, just brought you upstairs. So I left this morning in a rush because I was going to the cinema, as you can remember, the intro was really rushed at the beginning, so the bed wasn't made, and I've just come upstairs, and Jake has made the bed. <laughs> Give him a rate out of 10, I'd say a good solid nine. Just needs a few karate chops. <laughs> Not bad, Jake. But anyway, I've got some bits from ASOS, some Christmassy bits. I put them on my story a few days ago because I just thought they were so cute. I'm gonna have to put the camera down because I'm not gonna be able to open this with one hand, but they're like Christmassy and they were really affordable and there was 20% off them as well. So let me get them out to show you. So they're from Threadbare on ASOS. I don't think I've ever heard of Threadbare before, but they do like clothes, they do like comfy things, they do PJs and obviously I've gone with two pink. They're exactly the same color pink, but these ones are gingerbread man ones, sweet as, candy and then the pants are like i won't get them out because i want to keep them in the packets but the the pants are like red with gingerbread men on them which is so cute and then this one is like a christmas tree but it's a unicorn like a christmas tree unicorn horn which is adorable and the pants there are like starry so i just thought they were so cute for when we get into december time because i i love like stylish pjs like my victoria's secret ones and stuff and like neutral ones but there's nothing better than like a tacky like slightly tacky 
set of Christmas PJs, like cutesy Christmas PJs. And I love long bottoms as well, like there's so many cute short pyjamas out there for Christmas, but I'm, realistically I'm not going to get home and put some shorts on when I'm in December, so long bottoms always. And these were just so cute, so I'll leave these linked down below in case you want to treat yourselves to some Christmas PJs as well. Hey guys, so it's a few days later now and I thought I'd just pick up the camera and show you these little drinks that I've made. I'm actually working with Salta over on Instagram. I think the reel will have gone live this week by the time this video is out. So you will have seen it if you follow me on Instagram, which is at Florally Home, by the way. So I was working with Salta on their new cordless range and I've made a little autumn smoothie. So let me show you because they actually look really cute. I was actually gonna vlog me making it, but I thought it's just gonna stress me out trying to do like Insta filming and YouTube filming. So I thought I'll just show you the finished result. So obviously the whipped cream has sunk a little bit, but how cute and autumnal do, do these drinks look? It's an apple and cinnamon smoothie. Breakfast, breakfast smoothie, I think, is it? Or just like a like a healthy smoothie. Well, kind of healthy. It does have like Greek yogurt and honey in and maple syrup and stuff, but it's not like overly, you know, sugary. So there's apple in there, there's banana, there's milk, there's Greek yogurt, there's maple syrup, there's cinnamon. And then I popped a little cinnamon stick inside because I thought it looked super cute. The whipped cream has gone all weird now. It's like sunk into the smoothie, so they did look cuter before. But I just thought they looked so cute and cosy and autumnal and I've got my little apples. It was a cute reel actually. If you've seen it, let me know if you liked it or not. But yeah, I sprinkled a little bit of cinnamon on top as well. So me and Jake are just going to enjoy those now and then we're going to head to our friend's house to see their new baby. Hey guys, it's a few days later now. This vlog is really choppy. I apologise for that. But you guys like the weeks in the life days in her life, weekends in her life, so I thought I'd just keep it in, keep all the stuff in that I'm doing so you can see what I'm up to, but I'm just, I need to be really quick because mum is outside. I seem to be always in a rush in this video, don't I? But we are going shopping, we're having another mother-daughter shopping day today, which I know you guys love when we go out and do that. I always get comments saying that they're your type, your favourite type of video. So I thought I'd bring you along with us on our shopping day today. We're going to go to two kind of like garden centre places, Shackleton's and Holden Clough and I have a feeling that they're going to be Christmassy so lots of you like the Christmas content last video so hopefully you enjoy this Christmas content as well and I really need to go because mum has been waiting for a while. <laughs> so just quickly this is my outfit of the day, just got this grey jumper dress on, this belt from New Look that I saw Michelle share, Home in Hurts on Instagram, my little jewellery pieces on as well, mulberry bag and knee high boots. It's a very rainy day. Is it? Yeah. Oh yeah. We've got our umbrellas <laughs> and we've just arrived at Shackleton's. Typical English weather. <laughs> and I spy Christmas trees. Lots of cute little pumpkins. I know, they're lovely, aren't they? Yeah, I love these ones. But I definitely don't need any more pumpkins. <laughs> Mini crackers. Aww. They're cute. Mm, what's in them? Oh, I like these. Bobble place card holders. Ooh, look at all this Christmas look at their, uh, saucer crackers. Ah, for when you're making people a Christmas brew. Yeah. <laughs> Little whitewashed napkin ring. I like this bowl as well. Ooh. You've got cute berries. Mm. I love those white berries. This is like the little silvery white section they've got those crackers again saucer crackers they are so cute These are mm. oh i love those they're lovely though they're like something like josie and lydia would have yeah that's what they remind me of yeah oh i love those this is such a gorgeous shop we've just spotted these pieces i got them a few years ago from encore home and the light, just nice having a kitchen, aren't they? Yeah. They're nice. Yeah, gorgeous. Oh, look at these. I love those. Uh oh, it's a bad idea coming here. <laughs> <laughs> they are so cute as well. Yeah, yeah, I've got some nice stuff. Oh, look at this section. Oh, that big wreath. Mm. I know. And that. <laughs> So cute. <laughs> Little headshot, I can't love it. <laughs> Not for autumn, just to put out as an autumn picture. Yeah. Oh, I love all this range. This beaded range. That's really pretty. But well, I'm on a pumpkin band now. 
What's that? Why not? Are they four fifty? I'm gonna start it with them. Oh, I love this little cake stand. I know this really reminds me of like Cotswold vibes. Oh, it's like Dalesford. Yeah, type of... when Josie goes to Dalesford. Like Dalesford. I love these berries. Oh, why is everything so nice in this shop? We've only walked like two I got meters. That last time. Did you? Yeah. Autumn. They're lovely. Uh oh, this is going to be very dangerous <laughs> for my bank account. I bought three apples actually in France. <laughs> you bought uh, three apples three in France? Apples in France. <laughs> three fake apples. They're nice. Cute peaches. <laughs> These are really cute. Tea, coffee, sugar. I love all this range actually. It's quite like vintage -y, isn't it? Blue section for the blue lovers. They're nice. Green isn't it? Mm. $7.99. I don't know what the Neptune ones are, but. Similar to be honest, aren't they? Nice that one, too, yeah. isn't it? I love these napkins. Yeah. Is it 50? Yeah, they're all nice. Even they look lovely, don't they? Yeah. I love them. And these, they're just so random but so cute. They like a little tea bag holder. Yeah. £19 for a tea bag holder. I think I'll have to leave you behind. <laughs> these are cute little scallop dishes. Everywhere you look, there's just more <laughs> nice decor, isn't there? Yeah. That's nice too. Yeah, is that Sophie the other, the other one with leaves was nice, but that one's nice with the um, olive. olive 12. I could actually open a pottery shop. <laughs> you don't need any more ceramics. <laughs> I like this. <laughs> kind of like vintage rustic. These are really pretty. I think it's four napkins for 20, which isn't too bad. And I think that's a table runner as well. I love that. Oh, the little nutcrackers. Big bars. Well, I'm looking for like one like that, the floor bars. It's a good size. It is, a, you know, like for the corner of the land at the half up the stairs. Oh, yeah. With like twiggy type things in it. We got them last time, I couldn't resist. They're cute. Yeah. I like the jug as well. I like these um, candle holders. I love yeah. the colour of those. They're nice, I like yeah. them. Mm, like a French grey colour. How much are they? I don't know. That one's 14. Alright. I'm guessing the other one's a bit more. I like the colour of those though. Yeah. I haven't seen any of that colour. Yeah. Do you like these hedgehogs? <laughs> I do. <laughs> They're so cute. Oh. The faux flower section. Look at these. Don't they just look like Neptune ones straight away off the bat? And those. They're really nice like that. Very they look Neptune. The very Neptune. And those? Yeah. Sparkly blue ones. Yeah. And yeah. literally those. Did they get them from the same place? Probably. That they're like I've never seen so many Neptune's kind of flowers in the same they're space. As well. yeah. Oh my god, and those. The lambs here. Mm -hmm. I like these ones. You get quite a lot on there, don't you? For how much? Oh, six pounds? That's not too bad for all those. I really like those, but I seriously do not need any more white dipsy flowers. No, you don't. <laughs> well, no, they're dead cute. Little I love all this foliage mixed together. And this vase is so cute. That one, and then there's that big one over there. Oh yeah, that one's nice. That is very big though. Love this beautiful arrangement. I really want these blueberries, but... I'm resisting. Yeah, it's pretty that. Wow, that is a big vase. 32. Not bad that for the cushion and... No, and the inner. Mum's just said this is the floral bed. <laughs> Not sure. Not sure that'll go with the William Morris wallpaper. <laughs> <laughs> We're walking in to Christmas. <gasps> Not even Halloween and already getting excited for Christmas, but how can you not? It's Halloween this week. I oh, know. Oh no, next week. Next week. <laughs> yeah, I love those. Cute. Oh, look at all this Christmas goodness, everyone. So sweet. It's dangerous coming into the Christmas section. I love those little pines. Are they not hedgehogs? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they look like a porcupine. Oh my goodness, look at this section. It's all like whites, neutrals, golds. Love these bells. Yeah, I've got a search to hide 
and more for them last year. Well, here you go. <laughs> I love that. I know, really nice. I love nice? this little nutcracker. <laughs> little Christmas tree. <laughs> They're really heavy, the door stops. Oh, are they? This is cute. You can have them like hung on like a mirror or like a TV unit or something. And they look really cute for Christmas. Look at the stockings. When I see stockings, it makes me wish I had a fireplace. <gasps> He's very furry. <laughs> <laughs> I always like looking at the gingerbread section. Yeah. It's just like traditional Christmas, isn't it? Oh. oh, look at these little fairies. I like these little stars. The leaves and the white berries on. Found the ceramic house section. These are really cute ceramic houses, but they're a little bit more expensive. These ones aren't too bad. £3.50. Mm -hmm. A little hanging house, but I've got yeah, so many. You have. A little nutcracker towel. I always like switching out the downstairs bathroom towel with something Christmassy. When it gets to Christmas time, that's really cute. So I wish it was like a neutral nutcracker. Literally, we've got every theme here at Shackleton's. This is kind of like the berry themed, although I really love these brown ones. I might even bring a little bit of this colour into my tree this year. So I feel like you can match it with neutrals. Love these brown ones. And over here is all like gold and like natural kind of woody tones. So pretty. Apologies if it's too early for Christmas content guys, but how can I not show all this when it's here? I love these trees. They look so natural. These things start going, don't they? I know, things do start going. A cake? <laughs> A Christmas cake. <laughs> oh, the garland section. And the wreath section. Love this monkey. <laughs> it has a scalloped edge in. <laughs> oh, the Christmas trees. Some pre lit. Look at that one. Wow. And then look at this autumn tree. So pretty. If I had a big garden, I'd have that. Look at that, it's got a scalloped edge. Is that for pigeons? Is it not just for birds? Well. Pigeons? <laughs> well, look at this section. It's like the make your own wreath section. Oh, yeah. Got like your little bits of foliage and pine cones, ribbon, orange slices. I'm excited for our Neptune one, are you? Yeah. Me and Mum have booked in to go to the Neptune Christmas wreath making. I think it's on the 3rd of December in Neptune Southport, which will be fun. <laughs> you like that smell? <laughs> How Christmassy does this look? <gasps> look, letters to Santa, collection times, bedtime, after dark, fast asleep, and the big candy canes. Oh, I love these ones for yeah. Christmas. Yeah. And that one, scalloped edge with a reindeer on the front. <laughs> Honestly, if we were in August right now, I would be buying these. So it's £12 for six pumpkins, six like grey brownie coloured ones, which are just perfect. And I've never seen any like this before. And then three little cream coloured ones. And the stalk is like quite a like dark woody colour. I just think they look really nice and neutral, but I just don't need any more pumpkins right now. Because it's all about the Christmas decor at the minute. But if, if it was a few months ago, I would definitely be getting those. And then they sell these little mini ones as well. Oops, like how cute is that? I've not seen any pumpkins like this this year. And this one. No, just to go with like neutral decor. You know, I'm so tempted to just get them for next year. Is that silly? <laughs> Mum's vase is that big that we need to pop a seatbelt wrap. <laughs> just did a bad thing. <laughs> Very bad. <laughs> so now we've just driven 10 minutes up the road to another beautiful garden centre called Holden Clough. We've been here before and as you can see it's so beautiful. Pumpkins. <laughs> Christmas is in full swing at Holden Clough. Getting me so excited. Look at this little white Christmassy snowy display. And I love these candle holders. Little snowflake at the bottom. I love it here because everything is just like so like rustic and vintagey. Oh, look at this wax melt burner. I love that. Always burning wax melts in autumn, winter. 
These are very white company indeed, little candle holders, very Neptune as well, and these ones with the velvet ribbon. Oh, oh they're really nice. nice. Yeah. They are so cute. What, that big deer? <laughs> <laughs> that big reindeer? It'll, it'll probably fit on your table. <laughs> wow. <laughs> very grand, isn't it? Then you've got all the natural, mmm, it smells so nice. All the natural like fruit and oranges and I like these little star holders. Cinnamon sticks. Apparently the big one. Yeah. Mmm, it just smells lovely, doesn't mm. it? Oh, how gorgeous is all this? I'm going to have to take a picture for my, for my Instagram. Look at this gorgeous candle. It's a star candle. It's got five wicks and the outside is kind of like a gold amber glass. It's 23. That would be so pretty, wouldn't it? To light around Christmas time. Such a pretty garden centre. Look at everything that they do to the top. Like things are hanging. Look at that ladder with the baubles hanging from it. It literally looks like Santa's grotto. <laughs> this is all your section, isn't it? Like the reds, <laughs> I the traditionals. Do like, I do like red. <laughs> is it on? Oh, it is. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's so cozy. <laughs> it's really cozy. We really, me and Jake have actually been talking about doing a living room reno mm. and having a fireplace. Yeah. Maybe like a fake one, but like it looks like real fires yeah. burning. Yeah, yeah. A beam across the top, and then the TV oh. on top. Oh yeah. Shelves either side. That'd be nice. But. Yeah. And it was Jake who suggested it actually, mm -hmm. so he can't be mad at me. It just homes up your lounge. I know, I know, I really like it. Helena's got it, hasn't she, in her lounge. Yeah, yeah she has. Helena, if you're watching this, we love your lounge. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, look at that mouse in a Christmas jumper. <laughs> Will you stop it? It's in a starry Christmas jumper. <laughs> look at him, he's sat on top. Why is that so cute? Oh my goodness, that is just so cute. <laughs> They've got little whiskers, <laughs> reindeer dust, all stuff like that, it's so magical. Okay. Lovely little pine cone garland, and I like these rustic bells too. Oh, this is all like yeah. the woody section. Oh, that looks so pretty, it's like a carriage. It's like Cinderella's carriage. I know when I came here last time and popped it on YouTube, loads of you went afterwards and paid a visit because it is such a beautiful garden centre. <laughs> Mum's just taking pictures of everything. <laughs> oh, that fox. Aww. <laughs> I really like that wreath. It's just like nice and natural, yeah, it isn't is. it? Yeah. Mm. And they're really cute for a tablescape. It's literally so warm near this fire. I mean, it serves me right for coming out in bare legs, but. <laughs> and then you walk into this little room. Got soaps on this side, wax melts little bottles of soap and then oh, all the Christmas that. candles mmm nice that smells lovely doesn't it the spice berry oh I love all these Christmas candles she's back at the cards <laughs> <laughs> you don't know that many people to send cards no, to I frame them. I've not seen any of these cards <laughs> framed in your house <laughs> little wooden nativity how cute that. And then we're just coming into the cafe now. This has all got a cute little autumn display up. Oh, I'll be sad to see the pumpkins go in a couple of days. Look at the sparkly branches. How gorgeous is that with all the books? Christmas tree! Mum's got a tea. We've got cake for afterwards, but our food is coming first. Biscuff. Biscuff cake. Salt, no, what was it? Sticky toffee cake with biscuff. Yeah. I've got basically hot milk and caramel because I said I wanted a latte, but not much coffee in. Let's try it. Let's do a taste test. Mmm. Yummy. Nice and sweet. I've just burnt my tongue. Mum's showing me all the pictures that she's taken <laughs> for her Instagram. Oh, there's me. <laughs> Who's that strange woman? Oh, thank you. Thank you. I've gone for sausage baguettes 
well, we're going to share it all, aren't we? Fries, halloumi fries we got last time, they're so nice. Sorry about that everyone, we've just had to vacate. <laughs> just had to swap tables because a wasp came, another wasp. But yeah, as I was saying, if you don't follow Mum's Instagram, I'll pop it on the screen now. It's Jan's Hedgerow Home, I think. And you're starting to post a bit more home decor, aren't you? <laughs> Hi everyone, so we're back home now and I finally persuaded mum to do a home haul with me but you've not got that much today actually, you've only got two things haven't you? Been good. You yeah. have been good today, except one thing was quite a bit but I've got like a few Christmas decks and some foliage to show you and mum has got a couple of bits as well so I finally persuaded her to come on and do a home haul after I think I got a few comments last time saying that they would love to see more of you showing stuff. <laughs> Why? I don't know. <laughs> so do you want to share, share what you got first? Yeah. So these were from... These were from Holden Cloth and they're just little vintage... Show the camera. <laughs> little vintage gold bells. Very nice. Pack of 10, is it? 10 for 10 pounds. I think so. You can maybe put them on a wreath or yeah. your Christmas tree. Or oh, in a little bowl. Yeah, a little bowl, yeah. Very nice. Yeah. So the other place we went to was Shackleton. So we went to Shackleton's first and then we went to Holden Clough. They're like, if you're from Clitheroe, Worley Way, they're like, round that neck of the woods. You just knocked my camera there. <laughs> I was looking for a vase for my landing. Um, for like a bit of a, Like a rusticky type vase, floor one. And <laughs> you can't even see yourself. <laughs> and we'd only just got this in the day before. Yeah, I tried to lift it up. Um, like a big, like a rustic urn, isn't it? Yeah. Quite heavy. Or Which like I think will just go with the decor that I've got around it as well. Yeah. And you think you're just going to leave it bare, don't you, without any foliage? I might do, or if I can get some thicker twigs. So that was all you got? Yeah. That's good, isn't it? Very good. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you also got this. Oh, so yeah. I got these white berries, which I thought looked so much like the Neptune white berries as well. I'm they not do. sure how much the Neptune ones are, but these were 5 99 each, I think. Oh, there's yours. Yeah. <laughs> One little sprig of red berries just to put next to a Christmas cake. A Christmas cake. cake. <laughs> you like doing your baking, don't yeah. you? These were 5 99 each. And I, like considering all the Christmas foliage I have, I don't have any white berries mm. like this. And they did look so similar to the Neptune one. So I thought, try not to break them. Oh, see, did one fly off then? No. I thought all three just in a vase with maybe some lambs here. They're really nice. Would be really nice around yeah. Christmas. And because I like to have white deco in my house, I just thought they were quite nice and festive, but still in keeping with my decor. And 6, 12, 18 for three bunches. And through the winter month. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Even through autumn. I could mm. get these out now, couldn't I? Mix with some autumn colours. And then also from Shackleton's, I got a few Christmas decorations. If you're not into Christmas right now, you can switch off, but People seem to be getting in the Christmas mood, don't they? And if you mm. don't get it early, they do They do go. go. So because we love the Nutcracker, we love the ballet, don't we? We, we do. go and see it sometimes. I just thought a nice white neutral, I'll let, try and let you see a close up, a nice white neutral Nutcracker would be really nice on my neutral Christmas tree. Because whenever you see Nutcrackers, they're normally like reds, greens, gold, silver, and I've never seen like a plain neutral one. So I decided to get that one. I won't unwrap them all, but I did get three of these. Now, this isn't usually my colour for the tree. I normally have white, like fluffy, white company white. But I really love the traditional, like, well, I guess it's not really traditional either. It's more like chocolatey, vintage, vintage yeah. like rustic. And I've just got some new white company decorations, which I think I'm going to be sharing in, not next week's video, the week after and they're kind of like vintagey, a bit more on the darker side and I just thought these were really cute and they would match with white they as well. Nice, yeah. And maybe like a little bit of champagne. So I got three of those ones and Neptune have just brought out ones like this as well mm. for a fortune. Mm. I mean, it's not like proper glass. Whereas Neptune are glass. Yeah, yeah, which I guess you'd pay for that, but this, it is, it's like thin glass. Yeah. Or is it plastic? It's plastic. Is it? <laughs> it looks pretty like, no one's going to be coming up to the tree like feeling it. So from afar, I feel like it looks really nice. And yeah, like I said, Neptune have just, have just brought out some that are this shape and kind of similar colour as well. So I thought they were really cute. I'll wrap it back up. Ready for a few weeks. Yeah, I got three of those ones. And then I got two of nice. these ones. I love these mm. ones. 
these are proper glass you can hear the chime, yeah, can't you? you can. similar to the other ones in like the brownie chocolatey color but just like round ones and i thought maybe just like one at the bottom one at the side of the tree match with those ones would look really nice because i've got two trees to decorate this year so i need to decide what theme to have one and what theme to have the other yeah from holden clough i didn't really you didn't get any i know you got the gold bells yeah i got the bell there was loads of cute things but i just didn't really need anything got so much. i know but I did spy these and I love burning wax melts like mm, in autumn nice. winter time. Yeah. I know, I really like it was nine pound fifty. You use your wax melts a lot, yeah. don't you? Yeah. Well it just makes it smell mm. so nice. Mm. So much stronger than a candle. And all my Christmas wax melt burners are like white. And I thought with this one being cream and it's got so much like added detail on it, if I just zoom in. It's got like little bubbles on and like little Christmas trees everywhere. With it being like an off-white creamy colour, I just thought it looks a bit more mm. high-end, doesn't it? So that was everything that we got from the garden centre. I hope you enjoyed our little trip out. Before Mum goes home, I said that I'd show her these plates and I'm about to show you as well. I've been very kindly sent some plates from Casa by Josephine Geno. And you're not going to believe these plates, everyone. They're so pretty. Look at the packaging cute and pink and it's a set of four like side plates so i thought i could use them on top of a on top of the main plates on a tablescape oh they're so lovely pretty. very nice scalloped plates mm. green and they did green pink and red and i just thought the green would be perfect for like christmas you know mixed with like really christmas nice. foliage or yeah. like a garland or something i'll just get them out to show you they're lovely then. how gorgeous are they very nice Up on the back as well like a little yeah. it's kind of like i don't know what it is around the edge it's kind of like a frilly spirally edge but it like looks scalloped doesn't it mm. and they had pink edging red edging and then the green edging and all of them were gorgeous. I was tempted to get the pink, but I thought the green I matches. I like the green. Like our I think how, how nice would that be with some Peter Christmas cake on it? <laughs> yeah. Why do I always think it came? I don't know. <laughs> it would be lovely with a piece of Christmas cake on it. I find just think they look like a cake plate. They do look like, they're like a little cake plate, yeah. yeah. But I thought they're going to look so gorgeous. Like, you know, on top of my... Uh, B&M scallop plate. Yes. And then have this one on top. On top. And, and then, then like, like a candle with... A candle? You could put a candle on it with foliage round. No, this is for a tablescape. <laughs> you could actually use it as a candle yeah, plate. Yeah, like little, you know, then... Like moss or something. Yeah, moss around Like it a big botanical candle. And just have the side showing. That's yeah. what I thought, yeah. Oh, that could be mm. nice too. Mm. Yeah, how stunning. Here's a little close-up. As you can see, it's kind of like a forest green edging. Very Cotswold vibes, isn't mm. it? so pretty Lovely. so yeah i'll leave those links down below as well i'll leave the two garden centers that we went to as well so you can find out the details for those because i know you'll want to pay them a visit i've been getting messages all the time saying do you have any recommendations on nice garden centers yeah, to holden go to Clough's always nice isn't yeah it? holden club shackleton's is more like a shop it's more like the traditional garden center yeah shackleton's, isn't it and then holden club is like well you saw it's all like yeah. they display it all really nicely and like little like drawers out with stuff in it's all like nice and rustic yeah. so definitely go and pay them a visit but big thank you to Casa for sending over those gorgeous plates i can't wait to make a cute little christmas tablescape with those recording now. is it yeah you're going let me see let me see no let me play it back and let's have a well, look we need to do the outro now oh okay <laughs> she'll learn this time next year she'll have her own youtube <gasps> please don't put that on Comment down below if you'd like her to make a YouTube. <laughs> okay, I've got time for that. <laughs> you do, you don't work. <laughs> I'll look after Grant. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed watching today's video, everyone. Seeing my little snippets at the beginning and then seeing the shopping day with Mum today. Let me know if you want more content with Mum. <laughs> I hope you enjoy seeing this video on a Wednesday as well. I just thought I'd pop one out on a Wednesday because it's half term and I've got a little bit more time on my hands. I will see you very soon on Sunday with my next video, which is going to be another Bestie Home Haul Christmas edition with Helena working with one of our favourite shops with Love Abigail. Little sneak peek for those of you who watched to the end of this video. So thank you everyone and I will see you next time. Bye! Bye everyone!